like somebody saying, Pastor has brought politics to the pulpit. You have not studied the not before. And I speak in parables. So politics has always been on the pulpit. It's just that now we are more bold because destiny is at stake. May the Lord give you understanding. Uh, prophecy. Prophecy is of two types. Prophecy. So two types. Um, they are prophecies that are unconditional. The promises that are contained in the prophecies that are uttered, it is possible for, the, for those promises to be unconditional. In such a case, the sovereignty of God is responsible for bringing every aspect of those promises to pass. And there are also prophecies that the promises that are contained in them are conditional. The way you relate with prophecies that are not conditional, uh, whose promises are not conditional, is different from the way you relate with prophecies that contain promises that are conditional. We as a nation have a prophecy. And we have something that we have placed before our face that gives us a sense of direction as the people of God in this nation. And the prophecies of which I speak were captured in the utterances of Pa Elton. Pa Elton um, revealed that the destiny of Nigeria is going to be in two major seasons. The first major season is the season of darkness that is, is um, identified by a regime of corruption. Um, I was privileged to see the graduates from Ahmad Bello University in 1979. And they told the experiences of how that when you graduate with a university degree, you are already a man that is established. Because the, those days, the country was responsible and uh, it took responsibility for her workforce. So, the moment you become a graduate, there is a change in your paradigm. Accommodation is no longer one of your prayer points. And the economy was solid. And so, long-term plans could be made. The standard of living was very wonderful. And you would not have that level of standard of living if you were not in Nigeria. So, if, if those days when people graduated, they were not hoping to move to the United States of America. They were not hoping to move to the Great Britain because the conditions of service right here was so adequate that you could forecast a wonderful career life under the systems of service that were available in our uh, civil service layout. Unfortunately, the spirit of corruption just as it is contained in Pa Elton's prophecy, began to seep in gradually until Nigeria became the headquarters of corruption in the world. It means, are you with me? It means everything we do here is by corruption. That's the meaning of that. Parity called corruption and the spirit of the occult. Uh, but like I said, the prophecy that was given to us as a nation did not end in corruption. Bautin spoke about a season of righteousness that was coming to salvage the land and that Nigeria will become the destination, the world destination for righteousness and for property and equity. We have arrived at that point where God is willing to orchestrate a transition. The only thing about this prophecy that I would like to bring to our notice, which we have neglected for so many years, is that this prophecy happens to be conditional. That means it requires our participation in order for it to come to pass. Just like the corruption aspect of the prophecy did not just happen by God's sovereignty. There were apostles of corruption that took advantage of the commonwealth of the land and it has brought us to this sorry state. And in the same way, there will be apostles of righteousness that will pioneer 
a new culture in our nation that will afford us the opportunity to see the fulfillment of the righteousness era. The greatest warfare in Nigeria is about to be fought. The warfare that will occasion our transition from corruption into righteousness. And it happens to be that this mighty warfare, in order for you to be conscripted to fight this war, you must have the necessary certification. And in this case, the certification that I speak of is called PVC. Um, if we are going to see the transition, and meanwhile, there are three announcements I'm going to give from now to the time of the election. This is the first announcement. The first announcement requires that each and every one of us will go and obtain our PVC. I had it in mind to come with mine today. Fortunately, when we were leaving the home, we were in a hurry. So I'm going to come with it tomorrow evening to show you evidence that I have been conscripted. I'm ready for the battle. Now, we are going to take enough time to educate each and every one of us about the battle that I'm speaking of. The battle is going to involve each and every one of us and we are going to be foot soldiers in the realization of the dream of God. Yes, each and every one of us, one month to election, two months to election, you will not be here mm, because of this battle. You have a critical assignment that... When last, did you, when last did you visit your village? You are going back. Yes. You are going back to Ado. You are going back to Ohimini. Yes, you are going back to Tukbo. You are going back to Boko. You are going back to Kasinala. You are going back to Nkum local government. But we are going to address you adequately so that you will understand the scope of the battle and how it is fought, the rules of engagement. And each one of us here is going to be an active foot soldier, including myself. Before we go into the details of the battle, first of all, we need to mobilize for certification. I am adequately certified and I have my voter's card. We are going to do a campaign. According to the law, voter registration can only end in the month of December. That means we have an adequate window for each and every one of us to become registered. And indeed, we shall all be registered. So the first thing we are going to be doing right now is to establish a campaign for voter registration. By the time we accomplish that with 100% compliance, because no adult in our midst will be empty-handed. When we achieve 100% compliance, then we are going to go into the next phase of the education, which requires our own deliberate commitment to the cause for which the season has come over the nation Nigeria. Some more direct counsel and some more direct means of fighting for the destiny of our nation will be communicated and each one will be adequately informed on how we are going to transit from this regime of corruption into the regime of righteousness. And I'd like to conclude this announcement by saying that this is that time when every member of the body of Christ, every man, every woman, will have to arise because the Lord Jesus is calling on each and every one of us to provide a platform for him in the Nigeria of today. We have seen the darkness that can befall a nation when no one takes responsibility of our destiny. Right now, I have risen to take responsibility in this particular jurisdiction this location, this terrain. You will hear my voice and my voice will give you direction. May the Lord give us understanding. We are not going to approach it emotionally. No. And that's why I'm not moved to begin to unveil the second phase of the strategy. There is a, an, an arithmetic procedure 
that has been adequately captured to translate our fortunes into our prophetic destiny. So please help me preach to your neighbor with boldness. Go and acquire your PVC. It's part of the gospel of this season. Go and get your PVC. That's the only thing in Nigeria that you don't need to pay money for. We pay money for everything. Even, even when there's a logo free in Nigeria, we pay. But the only thing that has not yet come into that category is called PVC. PVC. So, uh, from after this contact, we'll begin to do operation check for PVC. Yes, after this contact. Yes, operation check. So, you might need the card to be admitted. If not, there are projector speakers, you can listen outside, but you might need that card to be admitted. You might, you just might need the card. The transition into the glorious paradigm of our destiny is going to be occasioned by a well calculated, perfectly coordinated partnership of all the members in the body of Christ and those that sympathize for Nigeria. So we have been conscripted by the Lord. We start the campaign by saying, go get your PVC. Hallelujah. In July contact, we are going to take inventory of how many people have gotten PVCs. We might even put a registration desk outside so that when we notice you have gotten it, we register, 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 register. So we do our own sub-registration. And then we know how many people are still without covering. We'll pray for them and cancel them and rebuke where necessary. We are no longer going to stand on the sidelines. Are you with me? Yes, sir. We were in corruption when I was a little boy. I have married, I have beards, now it's white. The Lord will bring us deliverance in this time. May the Lord bless us all in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, somebody saying, Pastor has brought politics to the pulpit. You have not studied the not before. And I speak in parables. So politics has always been on the pulpit. It's just that now we are more bold because destiny is at stake. May the Lord give you understanding. Amen. All right, turn your Bible. Welcome to. June contact, uh, this is a holy convocation of the spirit and God wants to take us higher and higher in Jesus' mighty name. James chapter 1. James chapter 1. James chapter 1. Meanwhile, our campaign and our fight is not just, our objective is not just a presidential election. Because I'm wondering what will happen to Benue State if we have a bad leader for another 80 years. Hallelujah. All the possible good leaders for Benue State are in, in this hall and none of them is taking a stand. So we have decided, we have decided that we will no longer keep quiet. We kept quiet and uh, we have white hair now. This is our last stand, and the Lord will back us up Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right. Now, you know, when the preacher is living by example, then it means the message is true. <laughs> At the end of this service, we're going to have a brief voter education and exercise uh, so as to acquaint us with our individual responsibilities in the season that has come over us. But it's going to be offline. Um, so media people take note. There's no audio, no video of that session because we are going to open up on uh, several things that we want people 
on sight to know and we are going to continue with the campaign of voter education and the strategies that must be put in place to ensure that our votes count. We have gotten feedback from our friends in the political sector of the current initiatives of the Sons of Darkness to, to subvert the integrity of the process and the strategies that um, we are going to hear about today takes adequate cognizance of uh, the initiative that the Sons of Darkness have put in place to still manipulate our corporate destiny as a nation. Uh, the day has come for us to rise up and partner with God towards the realization of the dream that he has had for our nation. So we'll have a little, a brief moment of some strategic information. Hallelujah. And uh, there are a few other plans we want to put in place to make it easy for those of us that do not have our PVCs to come to a very convenient location and get adequately registered. And we're going to spread the word around our city and get other believers to comply. The Lord will help us in Jesus' mighty name. I want to encourage everyone, everyone who um, has followed and is following, please, I want you to share this video, let it go around the world and bless somebody.